Hey, we're back. Another STC style pickup video. This light's too bright. Locked and loaded with new studio lighting. Too bright. So it's very exciting. Do you know what this is? Found this in the baggies at Value Village. That's a Tonka trailer, man. Camper trailer. Yep. Pop up. Yep. And if you recall from a pickup video a while ago, I got a couple Tonka metal Jeeps. So they would have towed one of these things. So that was cool just to find that on its own. Right? Uh, sure. I think I remember this as a kid. Oh, as if. Whoops. Let's go. Also from Value Village, found that, you know, we love uh, our uh, old electronics. Uh, well, you know, it's cool to see. Well, this is dirty. Holy yeah. mackerel. You could clean this up a little bit. Wow, uh, this is not ready for the showroom, but uh, lots of people have these, right? Did you have one of these? This works. I didn't have this version, but I had something similar. Uh, nice cheap price tag on there. Uh, batteries or cord. The cord's in there. It looks quality. Quality. Uh, it's all clean. Uh, yeah. So this thing works. Antenna. Remember this? And a condenser mic in there. So that'll be good. Look for that. Look for that on the Ebays. And uh, I found this weirdo thing, another weird piece of vintage electronics. Not 100% not sure what it is, other than what it says, a memo scriber. Uh, it works too, once you put a tape in there, these are like, uh, you know, just contact switch buttons here. They don't push down or anything. And uh, I don't know, you dictate into this somehow. I, I don't know, let me know if you have used this. Uh, you could plug in a foot pedal well, you'd somewhere. Be using your microphone, right? No, that's for the oh, that's remote. remote. Oh, that's for the foot pedal. Like you had a foot pedal to start recording if you wanted to. And a weirdo power supply. It's interesting that you know it goes from the component into this transformer and then back out to the wall instead of normally we would have our prongs here. You know what I mean? <sighs> also, in the baggies are uh, hanging near the baggie. Whoa, whoa, sorry. Uh, found this cable. You know what this cable is? Joe, big talker? Mm, uh, it's for your... It's for a, gu a guitar into... Um, well, you're missing something here. Oh, boy. Yeah, so this missing... You're missing the uh, dongle. Well, the you know, breakaway cable would go to a USB to go into your Xbox. This is a Rocksmith cable, so you plug your guitar into uh, your gaming console and play that Rocksmith game. Hmm. I have so, that game. Do you? Yeah. Well, then this goes to that. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll take me, uh, I'll take it bucks. for the price of free. Thirty bucks. Free, because you know this price tag wasn't attached to it, so you know what that means. I don't know what that means. I missed these, but I was uh, thrifting with my sister, and she caught, uh, she caught them. B bomb caught them. Yeah. Uh, so Starbucks branded. It's like glass. These are like cold cups. No, it's plastic insulated. So you put your uh, your cold smoothies or whatever. It's got your uh, straw goes in there. Look at that. And then uh, so two of them. And these are you know probably. 10 15 bucks on eBay each. They're called uh, Blue Rocket because they look like rockets, right? Cold cups, Starbucks cold cups. Cold cups. Cold cuts? Cold cups. Also, uh, at that same thrift store, I grabbed this two bucks. I like The Force Awakens, so screw you guys that don't. It still uh, gave me goosebumps when he stopped the, uh, the uh, you know, the light bolt in the air with the force. Remember that? I think I blocked it out, it was so bad. <laughs> uh, these were in EB Games, they had a $2 day. Uh, so I grabbed that. I don't know why it's worth a little bit more, but so these were two bucks each. White Knight Chronicles. I was yeah. just grabbing stuff I wasn't really. I've got that, I haven't tried it yet. That I wasn't familiar with. So there was lots of common stuff there for two bucks, and also these things that. Like I said, I were not too familiar with. And uh, Starhawk. This was not part of the $2 deal, but less than a dollar deal. Whatever this piece of crap is. That's got to be a piece of crap, right? 
Yeah, good commentary by my partner Joe. Keep going. Uh, I'm running out of stuff here. I went to an auction and stuff was going for insane prices at this auction. There was even like people were bidding uh, PS4 controllers up to $70, which was crazy. So I didn't think I'd have any luck to get anything, but I did manage to uh, throw some bids on this. Oh, that's nice. And people stopped bidding on it. So I did get away with something here. This is like an uh, open box from Amazon. Um, new 3DS. So it has your Amiibo support and all that jazz. It is uh, somewhat complete, but not quite. It just has the instruction manual and the console itself. It's missing the AR cards. It's missing the download code for the free game. But uh, otherwise, it was in perfect uh, condition. As soon as I started it, pull, pull it out, man. Pull back, geez. As soon as I started, I had to set it up from the beginning, so it hadn't been even set up yet once. So yeah, that was a good buy. Uh, 100 bucks plus buyer's premium on that. I like it. That's good. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. I'll Joe give you, uh, you know, these, you could sell, turn around and sell it for 200 Here we go. Yeah. yeah. This, $300. <laughs> and the other thing I picked up was there was a bidding war over software titles. And, uh, like, people grabbed the uh, NBA 2019 and some other shit. And this was the last title that no one wanted to grab. So I grabbed this for $20, Hyrule Warriors which people like, I guess. I threw it in, it does work, but you know, it turns out this is a uh, European version, PAL version or something. But it does work on my Switch. I guess the Switch is not region locked. Hmm. And uh, yeah, so I'm playing a Koei game. Is I own a Koei game. That's Koei? This is uh, like a co-production with Koei and... Koei, is this Koei Tech? Koei, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, this is where they have waves and waves of enemies, like 500 enemies come at you and you swing your sword and they all go flying Sauron style. Nice. That's it for me. All interesting stuff, right? Well, not as interesting as my uh, Charlie Brown book that I got. Double version. I don't have this one yet. <laughs> Why would you have that? Why wouldn't I have that? Uh, I grabbed some PSP games again. I don't know why, because I don't have a PSP, but Star Wars Battlefront. The Renegade Squadron, though. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Renegade Squadron. That's a weird one. I don't think I have that. Uh, some Vice City Stories. Mm, yeah, I got that one. Got everything in there. I got a loose. So that's cool. You got the map and all that jazz. Uh, grab this, because I don't know if it's any good. Project 8. It's no instructions, but... It looks like the the gameplay is interesting. I don't know. Is that how you spent your days of no, youth? No, I wasn't a skater, man. Really? <laughs> uh, Forza Ooh. Horizon. God damn, I've been looking for this. No instructions, but the game's not scratched yeah, or anything. I'll take it. It is lost on you because you don't play what? racing games or fun games. Can I have uh, no this? Seriously? I was happy to find. I was happy to find this because uh, I believe this is the one that Travis was talking about. Baldur's Gate 2. So, complete. Dark so, Alliance 2. I really want to play this one. This is, is it? Is, that's not the same one that's on the GameCube, is it? Glare. Glare. And then I went to uh, EV Games as well and picked up some games on the cheap. Where did you get these from? So, these were all uh, from EB here. Uh, Dying Light, heard good things about this one. It's a uh, open world zombie survival, create weapons. That's too, This one's too scary for you, though. It's like that sort of world gameplay. Where you climb everything? Uh, yeah, you can climb buildings you and stuff. You love the climbing. Middle Earth, Shadow of War. So, I don't have the other one yet. Uh, Shadow of Mordor, I think, is the first one. This and, is the uh, happy to get this one. The Fractured of the Hole. So I haven't finished the other one yet, uh, Stick of Truth, but when I do, this will be my next one to play. How much? 
Uh, added some more cassettes to the collection. A little bit of uh, Corey Hart. That's garbage. I'm going to throw this fucking Super Nintendo <laughs> thing on the ground if you throw my stuff around. That's garbage, though. Permanent Vacation. First Defense. Another Zeppelin again. I think I got about like four of these Zeppelin ones. Uh, Rush. But this isn't to listen to. Right? If you want to. Are you going to? Maybe. And then uh, the Who double sided hooligans. I'm trying yes. to think what the vinyl cover for hooligans is. Is that the one where you uh, connect the dots? I don't have it. No. Uh, I grabbed some PC games to add to my uh, PC box collection. So this is one that I loved playing back in the day, Battle Chess. You loved it? Why aren't we playing chess if you love chess so much? Because I don't want to beat you all the time. That would be funny. I bet you people would tune in, uh, tune into that. On Twitch. Real life chess. So, uh... One book, one disc. I had the freeware version, shareware version of that. And also for big box, you know, I'm a big uh, Sierra fan, big King's Quest fan. So I, I found uh, King's Quest Five. It's the big fatty box. You're a big King's Quest fan. Yep. Where'd you find this? Uh, so this one is uh, four. Eight discs, plus the book, plus, I don't know, whatever else they got in here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. I love my floppy discs. Why is that in there? Which one is that? What's it say? King's Quest Five. What was this one? This is five. This is five. So why is different format? I don't know. This is what I was used to playing it on, though. On the That's uh, disc nine of nine. Moin. Give us a thumb through of the magazine. Do you mind? Like people want to see people want to see something. The book? Yeah. There's nothing there. The book? Yeah. How oh, exciting. King's Quest. <laughs> okay. I'm still curious. <laughs> Whoa. In my... Disc three of nine. All That's those so weird, eh? Yeah, I know. I'm just curious why there's two different formats. I don't want your thumbs all over them. What's the matter with my thumbs compared to yours? Why is this disc different than the other one? I don't know. That's all I want to look at. I don't know. Someone did that. Just look at it. That's how they did in Sierra. (laughs) They used different discs. Maniac. What a crazy company then. I added this. Saw this. Thought I'd pick it up. Pull back. I'm back as far as I can go. So this is the uh, the SOCOM big box. Yeah, it's crazy. So big box. So that's the gun. But okay, you stay there. And I'll okay. pull out. Okay, I'm staying here. This He's was pulling out all over me. This is what was in the box. He's pulling out his weapon. So it had the uh, obviously the big gun, and it also had the this controller. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have the ball one, so I assume that part. Yeah, but I've never seen this like box complete before. And you found this at a thrift store. And then it also had uh, this in there. This is in the box, so someone added that in there. So that's what that is. It's, yeah, it's cool. So that is in there. Uh, is the motion controller in there? No. Maybe. I don't know this. With instructions. Yeah, I don't think it's been used. Yeah, whatever the heck, whatever the heck it's for. And then, weirdly enough, this this was also in the box, no. but it doesn't have the battery cover. So I'll probably just put this up for uh, somebody will buy that for parts or something. Just throw a game gear in the box. Why not? And then donate the whole thing. Yep. People are crazy. The uh, times are strange. And that's it. Top note. That's it. Back. Uh, another box over there. That's it. Okay. Well, thanks, Joe, for uh, 
you know being personable as always yeah i appreciate your uh cassette collection here and uh i can't wait to play you in chess coming up very soon on uh, this channel that's joe uh, yanking his weapon around Anyways, thanks, everybody. We'll uh, catch you next time for the next STC style pickup video. Don't forget the podcast comes out every Friday, STC pod, and uh, everywhere you find podcasts. Okay.